Hey guys, it's Drew with Gucci Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys a really nice world coin submission that we got back from PCGS. Some pretty cool true views, some pretty nice coins, but let's get this video started. So as you know, we like to submit a lot of coins to PCGS, sometimes NGC, to show off you know, what we got in recently in terms of raw coins. A lot of raw coins today are just clean, messed up, have a lot of issues. But these coins were sitting around for a long time, and I thought they would look really nice on the true views when we got them back. And Phil over at PCGS did not disappoint. He's the guy over the TrueView department. And so what we're going to do today is show you guys those coins, uh, talk to you about why we got them, why we submitted them, and we hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. But first, let's talk a little bit about what's been selling for us recently because people are wanting to figure out where the market's heading and who's buying what. Um, orders are steadily coming in still, even with people going out on vacation or, you know, spending a little bit more money going to different destinations or, you know, it, in the summer months for coin shows and everything else, it kind of slows down. So that's where you see a lot of the issues arise for coin dealers starting to get desperate to sell coins. For us, we're not in any desperation. Our overhead's low, and we're in a good position. And so we sold this pretty nice 1946 Iowa commemorative half, 66 CAC, OGH holder. A little kind of hazy on the coin, but that's okay. If it was a little bit more white, I think it would have easily been a 7. Sold a 81S Morgan Dollar and a Rattler. Those are kind of steady. They sell pretty quick. Then we have a few type coins that sold. We have this 1915 Barber Quarter, uh, Mint State 63. Kind of a little hazy as well. Not extremely white or lustrous, but uh, definitely a neat coin. We have the 42 Proof Lincoln Cent. Uh, it was graded Proof 64 Red. Uh, then we have this 79CC. We've been talking about in many videos. Cap die. Really nice. As soon as we talked about it in the last video, someone called us and wanted to pick it up. So that's pretty neat. Then we have uh, a coin that we just got in. We actually sat down with the collector last week, had dinner with him. It's a 1927, $20 St. Gaudens in Mint State 66. The luster's incredible. Not too many hits on the coin, but there is one holding it back from CAC. And we did submit that one for him a little while ago, but then we finally bought it. It was just the last of the coins that he just wasn't really speaking to him in his collection. And then we have a 38 Washington quarter in Mint State 66. A little original haze from a roll on the coin, but definitely uh, had some good luster, early date. That's what you want to pick up on. Then we had this 84 CC and 66 plus NGC CAC. We bought that one of the Buffalo Wild Wings, and that one finally grew wings and is going. Then we had this 1911 Barber Dime. We've had this one for seven months now. Uh, it just wasn't the most attractive Barber Dime at the time, but it finally, uh, you know, Went, went to a nice collector. We have the 82S Morgan Dollar, Great Mint State 66. Has some interesting terminal toning. The luster was still present, as most S Mint luster coins are. And sometimes the terminal covers that up, but this one was very nice. We have this 12D Barber half in Mint State 63. Also had some pretty nice luster. And then we just sold a few 1921 Morgan Dollars. Nothing too special there. And we sold this 83CC Morgan Dollar. It was uh, actually in a GSA holder. And it was nicely toned. We bought that at the Houston show. We had these guys coming around actually uh, wanting to get certain offers from people for these two GSA Morgan dollars. One sold for us recently was a proof like, and this one is the last one that sold for us. And we basically went up to them at the show and said, hey, we'll give you an offer. And it ended up being the best offer, I think, by 75 bucks or maybe 100 bucks. And that's what you got to do sometimes at coin shows to make sure everybody is happy coming back and making sure they feel like they uh, got the most money for their coins. And so let's step away from what is sold for us and let's show you guys these new world coins that we got in. They were raw for us for a while, but now they're graded and now they're really nice looking. We'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on them, so make sure to comment down below. And they're also going to be available on AkushaCollectibles.com. All right, guys, so here is the world sub that we just got back. Also have a few new purchases, AkushaCollectibles.com. This new purchase is not in the submission, as you guys might know, but it's a really cool terminal toned Benjamin Franklin. Has really interesting blue and kind of, uh, I don't know, just, I thought it really jumped out at me. Has a cool tribute to it as well. 
definitely a mid set toned uh, Franklin half. But also got this 1898 proof like Morgan Dollar. Not super proof like, but it does have a little flash to it. And it's pretty affordable. I run into a lot of ADSs, 81Ss, and proof like, but not any Philly mints, so I wanted to pick this one up. Now let's go and show you guys the sub. So we bought this coin raw. These two we submitted for a collector, Jesse. And then these two we bought raw also. So let's show you this first one. It's an 1875 Mexico mint. Hey, yeah. It's great mint state 63. It has a weak strike, but there's not one hit on this coin. I, I can't find it. So yeah, I can, as you guys can see on the cap, there's a lot of kind of distracting things happening on there, but as far as the fields, it's really just mark free. The luster's incredible. I think this coin's undergraded for me personally. I think the strike is weak, but I don't think it's a 63. I think it's at least a 64, maybe a 65. It's got a little darkness right here across the across the bird. The luster isn't full on the reverse also, so the, maybe they took that into account. We have both of these gold pieces here. This is a 1927 Netherlands. We sent these in because he wanted to get really nice trivias on them. And they actually, we cracked them out and they, and one ended up grading the same as it, as it normally was. And they, I think the other one was raw. These are more generic bullion pieces, but they are a keepsake for him. So that's why you wanted to get them certified. Most of these I wouldn't recommend getting certified myself. 62 plus on this one from Italy. And then we have two pretty neatly toned, uh, kind of more modern world coins. This is a 10 franc from 1965. I bought this one raw, I think a year and a half ago. And I finally had time to submit it. I didn't really know what to submit it with. Didn't really have any coins to submit it with, so I, I just held it raw. But it really has a nice true view on this coin also. Then we have this 1964 Greece 30 Drachma. I think that's what they call it. Has really nice greens and reds on the obverse and on the reverse. It has kind of like a fireball type of toning. It's kind of hard to pick up in this light, but I think the true views really do it justice. And so, really nice submission here today. No mess ups, no screw ups. Anything that we picked up on, we just didn't submit. So that's something that's good. And we also really submitted some quality pieces. We hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, what has sold for us, but also what we got from PCGS today, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on, uh, you know, the world coins. Do you guys enjoy us showing coins that we get back from PCGS? Make sure to let us know and subscribe if you're new. We got new videos coming out every single week. We want to bring you guys along, so make sure to subscribe to follow us, and we'll see you guys in the next video.